back to my channel. We are just now getting home. I ran some errands while Asher was at school. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul. So we got quite a few like Christmas themed items. And as you can see all my groceries. Okay, so these are the items I picked up today at um, Target. So a ninja bread, I thought that was cute. A little cookie kit. Gingerbread house, which are kind of, I didn't realize how hard they are to make, but yeah. And I also got some cupcakes. And my favorite creamer. Usually I get the non-dairy, but they didn't have it. And I like the little Christmas thing or whatever. I also went to um, Dollar Tree and I found this. I'm going to wash this. And also we don't have a cookie box. So I'm going to get this. I got that as well. Um, I made my boo some pasta in the microwave. So there's that. I got some toys. These cute little... Um, what are these called? Like dish towels. We don't have any that are Christmas themed. Yes, babe. So I got two of those. Yes, 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 yes. Just put it down. Just put it down. It's okay. Also, I got these. I keep seeing these on like those cleaning TikToks. So I'm going to try these. Oh, little sneak peek of what I got. Asher. So excited about that. Some more cards. I gotta whisper that word because if I say it, these are actually gonna go in his stocking. Um, oh, post it notes so I can remember things. Some more cards. This card. I got him some pull ups. We're doing so great at potty training. That's just some Doritos. I got this Christmas um, word finds thing for me because I love these. I can do these while I'm at work. Um, some Play-Doh. Let me show you these eyelashes. By the way, this is all from Dollar Tree. So, these lashes, I've been seeing on TikTok as well. So, I knew I had to try. I tried the individual ones. Loved, loved, loved those. So, now I'm going to try the full strip. And I got like five of them, I want to say. I got some tissue paper too. Because I don't feel like wrapping a lot of gifts. So, it's going to be a lot of bags. Some little shots cups some wine toilet bowl cleaner I'm running out of room oh I got these I love the Febreze plugins I thought I loved um the bath and body plugins but baby anyways back to Target I got this girl she's so pretty I have a pink one in my room but this goes with our like tree um Running out of space. Asher loves these. They're in the Target dollar spot for only $3. And it's like a car launcher. It's really easy to put together and it keeps kids occupied for a long time. And I got him a little coloring book. He's getting into coloring now. So there's that. Oh, some more Christmas presents. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, what else? I am so happy that Target has Black Santa. So even though they're not as cute as I would have normally picked out, I just had to get them for obvious reasons. Um, okay, also got this little mug. I don't have any Santa or like Christmas mugs. So there's this, more of these. What else is in here? Oh, tape. Yeah, a lot of tape. I got these little cards from a Dollar Tree. They're so cute for only a dollar. Or a dollar twenty-five now, excuse me. Um yes, for his teachers at school, I was just gonna get them little gift cards. Because he loves his teachers. And they work hard, so they deserve it. More paper. I got some uh, makeup remover for me and my sister. And then I got him some t-shirts. I got him an extra small. And if you're wondering why this paper is different from that paper, it is because we are doing a project where we're changing the paper. So, yeah, that's the reason for that. But I wanted to show you guys our tree. I'm obsessed. I love the color palette. Most of this stuff is from Hobby Lobby. These, like, big 
little things like that house my mom gave just overflow of like her Christmas decorations yes I'm about to hang up our stockings and bub is eating yummy and if I am not eating with him which I try to eat with him just because I heard that it's like really good for kids and it helps with a lot of different developmental things but if i am busy doing that i just have him in the same vicinity as me and he can watch the ipad and he loves his pasta Hi, kids. We hope you like the <laughs> see yes get it and so here's our stockings literally i was gonna buy some my mom just gave these to us so we're gonna go with it i might change ashers love these little bottle what are these called bottle brushes um, also Hobby Lobby, our little mirror wall. Um, but yeah, I might change Asher's, but that's what we got for now. And then some wrapping paper, because I'm going to wrap presents in a second. Anyways, I'm just checking in. I just put the baby down. I'm kind of oily. Pardon. But not the baby, my toddler that I wish. is still my baby. <laughs> Um, I'm currently folding clothes. Yep, folding clothes. And after that, I'm going to wrap presents. Because I have to get something under the tree. Like, come on, girl, it's day eight. And I've had my tree up since the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I think it was Black Friday. I put up the tree. But I just want to say, y'all, God is so good like sometimes it's just like hmm? like it's crazy so little story time so we just moved like we moved in august we've been in september october november december this is going to be our fourth the end of this month is going to be our fourth month here and things have been crazy you know we have new bills now and so it's been a little chaotic um, and then I have a child that gets sick so often, so if he gets sick, then I'm missing out on work. And, you know, I had a point where I kind of got behind on things, but, you know, I caught up on everything, but still I was like, okay, like I have rent and I have to buy gifts for everyone and I have to buy all new stuff. Like we don't, we didn't have anything really when we moved, but our like room stuff. So we've had to furnish our whole apartment pretty much. And so I was just like, you know, kind of like trying to calculate in my head, like, how am I going to do this? And I was like, you know, what? well, maybe I can like take out a loan. Um, I was like weighing out all my options. But literally the next day I got like a message. So I take like a few business classes online and I got a message from my school saying, um, like great news your refund is on the way and I, mind you I had just gotten a refund in like October that's how I was able to catch up on everything and so I wasn't supposed to be getting anything else until like the following year like February because I think it's every four months something like that I don't know four or five months um but yeah just randomly and I was like huh and it's like the text message I get before they issue the refund and so I like logged in and it was it was a good little blessing for sure and from there I was like okay like we'll see what happens and that was Monday so then today I received a deposit and so it's helped tremendously now I'm not like stressed about buying people gifts and stuff so single mom probs but i swear god always comes through it just never fails like it's like i don't even know why i stress about things because somehow it just ends up working so just thought i'd share that with you so update we got some presents under there now we got those um stockings hung so making a little bit of progress Kim does that all the time. Stop. Oh, what do you refer <laughs>
Bubby, say hi. Hi, this is Tristan. <laughs> That's my sister's man. And here is my ghetto wrapping. This is Asher's. It's his scooter. I can't wait for him to open all his presents. You did it. <laughs> Don't talk about our ghetto TV stand. It comes in in two days, so this is what we're doing. In the meantime, Bibi, 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 B L I P P I B L I B A. Bubby, put them on the tree. You gotta decorate it. He said it's an apple. Good job. Mommy, this is in it, mommy. This is the finished product. You like it? <laughs> Don't stop, Asher. Don't knock him off, babe. It looks so cute. He did like 98% of this by himself. Good job, baby. It's a snowflake. Okay. <laughs> to you guys, I just tried to do some lash extensions on myself. Looks pretty. You know me, I'm the type that wants some like real va va boom, but looks like a little natural. I'm just trying it. And I'm using, um, so I got these lashes, I'll show you. This is the brand, I got them from um, the Dollar Tree. This is what they look like. Can you see them? This is what they look like. And these are the Wispy Full Dramatic. This is the style number. They also come in just regular lashes. Same brand. But I wanted to try these and then I'm using this glue. All of this I saw on TikTok. Yeah, this is the brand. And they said it can last like for a few days. Let me see. And it's waterproof, latex free, hypoallergenic. Okay, guys. This is my first time doing it. And girl, lashes are definitely my thing. So, like, having lash extensions. Girl, you better calm down. Child, let me put my wig down. Stop. Are you kidding me? I love them. Y'all, this is my first time. And this eye, so I started with this eye. This eye took me like literally, if I wouldn't have like kept stopping, it would have probably taken me like 10 minutes. This eye on the other hand was like 20. Actually, maybe not even 10, like maybe like five to seven. But I used the full pack. So I used probably like, how many, four, is it nine or eight? There's like eight per row. So I used eight on, eight per lash. If I really wanted them like va va boom, I would maybe use an additional row and like split it between the two. But yeah, so I'm gonna like document how they wear. So I'm only planning to keep these for a couple days. Um, I'm gonna look on her website and see how long she said you can like wear them. But my goal was to work smarter, not harder. So if I already have lashes done on a daily basis, I can just throw on some concealer, maybe powder, and then lip, and then I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like I, like, tried to do something. And when I, like, look cute, I feel better. <laughs> because normally on a daily basis, I don't have on a lot of makeup. I work from home, so, you know, there's not really a point. So this is gonna simplify my life and I'm all about that going into 2021 like I told myself this is my year <sighs> so cliche no but this is my year to like just get back to being that girl and not that I haven't been that girl 
but you know like i feel like mentally i went into like mom mode for the last like almost three years and i need to just get back to being i don't want to get back to the old me like i just want to have a new and improved ash like i want to be the healthiest mentally physically emotionally that i can be um i'm already taking like measures right now to kind of get back to that like for instance i've started therapy which is really great like mentally it's just unpacking like a lot of stuff that you like buried um so that's one thing also um this year over the last like couple of months i've gained a lot of weight and like well how do i explain it so basically i got the iud implant i got lyletta and i wish i would have done more research and just gotten the um the copper one that it's not hormonal because i feel like my body reacted to that really bad like i had a really bad reaction to it weight wise like i feel so bloated from the moment i got it i was like huh like i hope this bloating goes down and it never did and it just got worse so i am taking it out um maybe gonna get the copper one but i think for now i'm just gonna like get off birth control um it's not that serious <laughs> um so yeah so that's another thing so i'm hoping that i don't expect as soon as i take it out to just all the way to disappear but i think it'll make it a lot easier i feel like if you're already struggling with your weight like sometimes certain birth controls don't help that i've had um a similar situation with having the iud sh not the iud shot the birth control shot um i think just with birth control my body just reacts by getting really bloated and like the water weight uh so yeah not with it so yeah just a little life update for you guys but no i love these and i'll keep you updated on how they wear we are making our christmas cupcakes right with your dirty face. Okay, hey babe, pour it in there. Good job, baby. Um, good job, bub. All right, now we gotta mix it. Say hi, TT. Hi, TT. She's so friendly these days. Sit. Look at that big boy. Good job. <laughs> you love to cook, huh? You love to bake? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. So we're gonna double team. They look so pretty. Like they were just perfect. Okay. Okay, so I got my frosting. I told him I'm gonna put them I wish I had the squeeze one. That's a lot easier. Yeah. Right? <laughs> this is actually Mommy. Okay, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, so you're going to grab a handful of the sprinkles like this. Watch, Mommy. And you're going to just sprinkle them on there. Yep. Good job. So only only the ones with the red. So it's a good job. But hold on. Okay, let me put them on more of them. Asher. Oh my god. Be gentle. Asher Cole. No. That is not what I said. Good thing is I just cleaned the counter, so it's okay. Here, put the sprinkles on the cupcake. You gotta put it on there. Yay, yay, yay. Alright, I'll show you guys the final product after. Yay! All done. Let's see how they taste. Mmm, that's some good. So, let's try it. Me? What I do, actually, I'm going to just take a bite of it, though. What? This is one for Mommy. No, he did not.
Oh, this is really good. Look. It's so moist. Oh my god, he ate eating. <laughs> you guys, these are so good. Like, no cap. No cap is associated with this video. <laughs> I'm not a frosting girl, but... Top notch. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You like it? Yummy, 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 I smelled it in Ulta. Let me show you what else I got. I also got the Milk Makeup um, Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Kept seeing it on TikTok, of course, no shocker. So I wanted to try. Um, and then I just got another lip sleeping mask. Got a new one. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you my quick like five minute makeup. I'm about to go pick up Asher. So another little update, let me not talk too much because I don't want to <laughs> be too late getting him. Not late, but I just want to, I don't want to get him too late. Like pick him up too, too late. If I come like closer to six, he will start stressing out, like thinking like I forgot him, thinking I forgot him like he's an orphan. So today I should have walked, but I was like kind of anxious about it. Otherwise I just take my elf camo concealer just kind of conceal spots as you can see I took my eyelash extensions took them out last night so I, I wore them for, for two days we'll see what happens I'm gonna redo them but anyways so yeah I went to the gynecologist I had the IUD and I got it taken out because it was making me gain weight like crazy so, that's always fun. So I'm excited to feel normal again and not so bloated and disgusting. Let me know if you guys have had similar issues with birth control. Um, I've had the shot as well, and I think that kind of had the same effect. It's like if you're already kind of struggling with your weight, Tintin do not recommend either one of those two. So I'm just gonna take a break from birth control and then maybe in about a month, I will get on the pill or just figure something else out. So I can still first any places I want to kind of cover up, then I'll take flat top brush and I'm taking the infallible powder, can, uh, powder foundation. And I just kind of, press that into my skin and I actually end up covering um, the foundation so this is like literally takes me two seconds to do during the week I really don't have time to like do a full face unless I woke up earlier but it's like who wants to do that no thanks so what they get my job is not like we don't have to be on camera so thank god so you see i love this powder foundation okay also the fenty one is good too but i always i reach for this when i try to preserve that one and then for brows i'll just take um like a brow glue or sometimes I use mascara. My mom taught me that trick. Like a light hand width of mascara. And I'm just kind of brushing them and like giving them a little bit of shape. Like so, nothing crazy. And then I will use, I can find them real fast. This is my go-to mascara, the Lash Essence. I 
do a quick coat. Do you see how this, if I wasn't talking, could be done in less than five minutes? Then I will grab some blush. Just grab whatever I see. I'm gonna use the Milani, just like a natural pretty pink color. I have to get my face some color. Even though I'm gonna wear a mask, it's like, you know, still. I'm gonna line my lips real fast. Yeah, just a dark brown liner. The liner. NYX Butter Gloss. And the lip liner I used was literally from the Beauty Supply. Even with me talking, it's only been six minutes. I'm gonna put on something a little bit darker. Usually I'll just do like a clear gloss, but here's something a little bit more natural. And if, if I have a little bit extra time, I'll also do um, just my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero, the Glow Getter, fave of all time. I use, literally use this all day, every day. Not all day, but every day. Give you that glow that you can even see outside of the mask. And voila! I'm gonna use, normally I will use the e.l.f. one setting spray. Tint and recommend. I think they said that that's a dupe for the milk one. So I'm gonna try the milk one and see. Okay. That's a pretty big, like, sample size. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the? I wish I did sample sprays before. What? That was crazy. That was like straight wetness on my face. The part here. Is that like oil? You had to shake it up. I wonder if I sprayed like straight oil on my face. Not really the vibe we were going for. I'm gonna put a little translucent powder. And that's an extra step. Obviously, I don't normally use that. I literally just got it as I showed you, but. Okay, so powder helped it out a little. Oh my God, did it wipe off my concealer? I promise you that was like oil I just sprayed directly in my eye. Okay, yeah, I could have kept that step to myself. <laughs> At least now. Hopefully that won't ever happen again. Okay. And that is my mom makeup. And you just pull your wig down. All right, let me go get my kid. You guys, so I am making some chicken. I've already dove into one. It's a macaroni and also mashed potatoes. I got cornbread in there. It's looking perfecto. So yeah, I'm making us a little, some slight. I'm wearing the air fryer. Here's before-ish. Oh, here's before. And this is the after. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome to the end of the video. So I am just gonna kind of give you guys a little bit of an update before I close out the video. So, um, a couple days ago, I got my IUD removed. So whenever I did my like, I showed you guys my like go-to makeup routine, that day I had my IUD removed, I believe. So, just to update you, this is like day four. By day two, I had already lost six pounds and I had started my period. So, um, really it's just like the bloating and stuff. That's the main thing that I saw. I have, I'm gonna change my lip. So I keep eyeing this 
lip that I really wanted to wear, but I decided not to. Let me do a darker liner. I think that's the issue. This is so me. I do this like three or four times. Um, so I'm using this girl right here. This is the Shine Loud um, Overnight Hero. I guess that's the style number. And they're like dual sided. They have a matte and then a gloss that you put over top. So let me do that right quick. I found it in my makeup bag, so I was like, yes, let me remind myself how much I liked her. I love these little NYX thingies, so girl, go to your Ulta and get them. They're like $11. Oh, I've got a curl on here. They're like $11. They're so worth it. I have like four or five of them. So, wait for it to dry. And then you have the gloss over. Girl, come on. Stop playing with me. I should have put on like a brown, but it's fine. It doesn't really go, but I'm kind of here for it. Let me just throw a little bit more blush on while I'm at it. By the way, I'm going to have an updated makeup routine coming soon. I have filmed so many of you guys would be sick to your stomach. And I just, the editing process always messes me up. And so then it takes too long. So I found that vlogs are easier for me to edit. Like I still have a vlog that I made back in March. Let me know if you guys want me to post that as well. Um, but yeah, I still have a vlog from then that... I don't know why I never posted it. I think I just kind of got busy and forgot about it. So, yes. Okay, anyways, now that I'm cuter. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see any differences, but I can, like, with... And it's just four days. So, like, imagine in, like, a couple weeks. So... I was, when I was editing the other parts of the video, I was just like, we're double chin. And I already feel like, I don't know if you can see a difference, but I can. So that's all that matters. <laughs> and then in my stomach too, like that's majority of where the bloating was. And literally it was such a dramatic difference from like just a day. And it's crazy cause two days later I started my period. And so gonna be bloating. They said that it would come back in like a week, but two days later I started mine, so I don't know. So six pounds in two days. Um, right now I'm still at that like six um, pound mark. And what was I gonna say? I thought that because of my period, like usually I feel like you feel like bigger on your period, like more bloated and I feel a little bit of bloating, but it's still like worlds better than when I had it in me. Like I promise you, I was like, when I first got it, like a couple days after I was like, huh, like I wonder if this bloating is gonna go down. And I was looking at like research and they were like, yeah, after like um, six weeks, that's when your body should be normal or three months maybe, maybe it's three months. And I was like, okay. And that was in like October. I don't know I think it was October so I got it in April so May June July so that was well over three months and I was just like I feel like it's getting worse not better <sighs> so regardless I am so happy that it's out I just feel lighter like I can't really explain it other than I feel lighter and just not like heavy in a way so and I feel like again to my <laughs> me having my period 
again i feel like i'm able to like cleanse my body of like all the like grossness that i felt while i had it so as far as birth control do your research before um i had known people that got it and they were just like yeah like you just put it up there you don't even have to worry about it you can have it for years and i needed something that was very low maintenance why i went with it i just wish i would have done a little bit more research so yeah i just wanted to update you guys on that but yes don't forget as far as this video don't forget to like this video comment subscribe comment other videos that you want me to create for you because coming in 2022 baby we are going hard now that i got figured it out and i kind of have time this is like the perfect opportunity to like knock out a bunch of videos so i let you guys know um so just letting you guys know i do have an updated makeup routine coming up like a full face not just like this type of glam but like full glam like my go-to makeup routine when i'm you know going out or whatever i will also um so just kind of giving you like a preview of other videos to come so i'm thinking i'm gonna do just one more vlogmas um and that vlogmas will have like christmas eve christmas new year's so um i have a lot of exciting things so i think i'm just gonna do one more part i'm just happy to be doing one to be honest so the fact that i'm doing two is like girl go you but anyways so yes the video to come is gonna be super cool because my best friend is coming from michigan uh, what else? We have Christmas, of course, that's always fun. And then we're also gonna be having a New Year's party. So we are gonna be hosting our first party on New Year's. So that should be exciting. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Disclaimer, don't judge too harshly. Like we have not been in the place that long. Like <laughs> when I edited the video, I told you guys about our ghetto TV stand. And we just put that together like a couple days ago, so that's that now we just need a coffee table and after the coffee table it's just like adding like you know more flavor to the house pretty much so be nice don't judge too harshly this is our first place and we love it so we don't care anyways but i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video thank you so much for watching i love you and i will see you in the next video bye